lot of kids grow up in, in Canada and they grow up with hockey and they grow up with soccer and baseball, but in my house, uh, there was lots of top fuel dragsters around in my early, early years. And there was some funny cars kicking around the house and in the garage. Combine that with dirt bikes and all that other stuff, it's very, very, very dangerous. Um, my family's been involved in extreme sports before the word extreme sports was even invented. Well, the crazy thing was I didn't break my back doing any extreme sports. I broke my back fooling around on a swing set after having a couple pops and being a bit silly. So it was really easy for me to get back into being dangerous again because it wasn't something that was super dangerous that I was into that hurt me. When you break your back way back in 1992, I was kind of a pioneer a little bit. So there was people that like thought I was gonna have to give up all sorts of dangerous stuff like, oh, maybe get into computers or maybe become a photographer or why don't you take a drawing class or learn how to play a guitar. But that's not me and I spent 21 years becoming me. I'm not gonna change who I am just because I broke my back. I think for me, you know, that it goes hand in hand. I wouldn't be doing this sport. I wouldn't be doing the downhilling if I had to have help and I had to have people help me and I had to have someone there all the time holding my bike up or uh, helping me unload my bike from my car. That's not what it's about. It's about being independent. It's about being me. So when I go to session the bike park here in Whistler, it's no different than when I used to go session my motorcycle or session my skateboard on the vert ramp. You got your gear bag, you got your bottle of water, you got your lunch, you got yourself, you jump in the car, you go. I'm completely independent and in fact, that's what attracted me to this sport is because I could be so independent. All of my success, all of the things that I've been able to achieve since breaking my back is because I've stuck to my guns and I've stayed Stacy Collette the whole time. I think there's some elements of four cross or riding the four wheeler is way more dangerous than mountain biking. You're strapped in, so when you go down, you go down like you're clipped in, but you're also clipped in at the waist. There's a reason why there's not hundreds and hundreds of people out there riding these, because they are dangerous, very dangerous. Every day I'm out there, I'm living in the moment and I'm in my bike and I'm, I'm turning people on to healthy lifestyles and I'm turning people on to like thinking about different things, about different ways, about solving different problems. So, you know, if I can be uh, an action figure, if I can be one of those people that's a living example of how to do it, for me, that's enough. I don't need to be an ambassador. I don't need to be a role model. I don't need to be an inspiration. As long as I'm being me, that's gonna be enough for a few people out there to go, yeah, 
that guy's doing it, I can do it.